all right welcome back to another video everyone so i've been getting a lot of requests uh from a lot of people saying how to install a set of Corza in 2023 um or how to install the servers cars mods this and that and i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that and i haven't been posting for about a week now because i actually got a new computer the other day uh, I did upgrade to a better PC finally, so I can make better content for you guys. Also, uh, I'm going to be making a few videos, um, not just this one, there's going to be other videos that i am be making as well, uh, regarding how to install the cars and the servers, um, weather and this and that, and other videos as well. This video is mainly just going to show you how to install the content manager and how to just deal with those and tweak them a little bit so it works out for you guys. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's get on to the video. Okay, so the first thing we actually have to get is going to be content manager and this is the number one thing you will need for Assetto Corza. Even now, um, this is the best thing uh, you can get for this game. It will change the game dramatically. Um, you can be able to install a, a bunch of mods like cars, um, like weather FX, like weather mods, um, and a lot of things like that with the content manager. Um, and obviously if you don't have that, it obviously won't work out. So uh, what we got to do is actually install content manager. You guys can read about this all if you want here. But we're gonna keep it moving a little bit so we don't slow down so yeah what you got to do is just go on the link in the description I will have all the description uh, the links in the description for you guys so don't worry about that and um, yeah what you want to do is go on content manager scroll down to the download section here and you just want to click on the download directly just click on that and it will take you to a there we go so it just started downloading right there so what you want to do is just open this up right here. Let me just minimize all this here. So pretty much what you got to do is just, I take this out here, drag and drop to your desktop, place it where you want. So once you guys get it downloaded and we got dragged and drop on your desktop, you just want to open it up. Now, this is going to be the first open you're going to have well the first time you guys open it up this is what you're going to have here and it's pretty much going to ask you for the root folder of set of corza which you guys can just do yourself so you pretty much just go to your local disk wherever you install the set of corza and here steam steam apps common and then there's a set of corza so you just press ok and then you just pretty much come down here to says what's your name and this is going to be the name you have um, in Content Manager and in the game of Assetto Corza when you guys play online with your friends and whatnot. So you just want to pretty much type in your name. So too fast for you. And then it says if you guys want to add a shortcut, a start menu, you could do that. You can create a shortcut. I would recommend you guys do that too. Um, and then for the install, the plugins, I would recommend you guys, in my opinion, to do the 7-zip right here. And it's literally, it's already done. Once you guys click it, it's done. It's like not even one megabyte. So if you guys just click that, that's good. And that's pretty much it. You press OK in the bottom right corner here. And once you press OK, you guys are in Content Manager. And that's pretty much it for Content Manager. You guys can go look it up and see how it is. Um, I will show you guys in a second what the settings are and then obviously installing Pure and this and that. So we will be right back in a second. Okay, so if you guys don't have Patreon, this is one of the websites you guys can come to for a set of cores on mods. Not even just for a set of cores, there's just a bunch of games you guys can get mods from from this website. Um, some of them are free, some of them you gotta pay for monthly. Um, but they are worth it to be honest. Like if you guys really like the game and if you guys really want mods and stuff and if you wanna pay for it, look, it's not even that much, like maybe two or three bucks a month. Um, it is definitely worth it as well. Not even just for cars, you guys can get a lot of graphics mods weather mods and everything like that for a set of corza and now the one that is my favorite is the peter bose um, i don't know how to say your last name sorry but um this is one of my favorites pure has been the best one for a set of corza in my opinion ever since i started which was about a year ago uh, as of today uh, it just looks really nice in my opinion and just has a really nice realistic graphics um, and what you guys want to do is I will have a actually a link in the description for this specific person here for patreon I think it's like what I think a dollar a month 
that is literally nothing and it's really cheap for the uh, things that he is making um, and if you guys go to the link and if you guys come down here follow what I'm doing scroll down to installing here is going to be the high resolution version 16k skydome set which is around 2 gigs of download uh, what you want to do is just type or click one of each my favorite one is Mediafire it's the fastest one so it's around 2 gigs it's going to start downloading now once this is start, this is finished downloading I will be back and then I will show you guys how to install that so we will be back in a second guys okay guys so another thing actually quickly we gotta get I forgot to mention this as well is the uh, lights patch uh, version 1.80 preview 346 uh, I will have a description of this guy's patreon uh, profile in the descriptions as well um, I forget if this one is maybe a dollar a month maybe that's it um, you guys can also uh, just pay for it once and then just uh, cancel memberships but you will have the things that you downloaded um, but yeah, you guys also have to uh, come to this guy here, and I'll give him the description. And then you just scroll down to the first one here, the latest one, and you just want to download the Lights Patch uh, version 1.80. So you just want to click that, and it will download right there. Um, once this is downloaded and done, we will go come right back, and then we will go in and install Pure for you guys. Okay, so once you guys uh, you guys have the Lights Patch and the Pure downloaded on, on your desktop right here, what you want to do is go into the root directory, fo directory folder of the Aesthetic Cores itself, which you guys can just go on to uh, Steam right here, click on this, and then right click on Aesthetic Cores, uh, hover down to Manage, and then go into Browse Local Files. This will just open up the root directory folder. So now what you want to do is just pretty much open up the Pure folder we just downloaded, uh, because it's put it side by side here um, and pretty much what you want to do is just click on pure folder there you guys want to just uninstall or um, bring this uninstall pure bat into your root director folder let that go in there quick so once it's inside of the director folder now you can just click on uninstall pure and it's going to ask you to please specif uh, specify your AC root folder. So what you want to do is the same thing as before. Make sure you guys find your root folder here. Steam apps, common, set of Corza. So you press OK. And it's going to tell you over here, this will uninstall Pure com completely. Are you sure you want to do this un uninstall, uh, uninstall here? You, it says right here Y slash N. And that means yes or no. So it pretty much tells you to press the actual keyboard of Y or no which we want to say yes which is Y and then you press enter there we go and it's gonna say uninstalling older pure version removing PP filters pure uninstall complete press any key to continue so you just press space or whatever and there you go so now pure is deleted from your root folder if you did have it or not uh, I'm just doing it for the sake of you guys to show you guys actually how to do it um, now what you want to do is just pretty much drag and drop all this of pure that you downloaded into your Aesthetic Cores uh, file or folder. It will tell you to, if you want to replace the files and the destinations and you have to say yes, replace them. And now you guys are done with installing pure. Alrighty, so now once we installed pure guys, we want to install the lights patch. So what we want to do is actually open up content manager and this step is really, really simple. Watch this. So when content manager opens up, all you got to do is just drag and drop your lights patch folder into here and you see it's going to tell you download is started. You just press got it. You open this up and it's going to download this right here, the preview version we just downloaded. You press install. And it's going to install it for you and literally in two seconds it is done so now we have installed lights uh pure as well or lights patch as well so what you guys want to do is go into the top right corner here in the settings go into the csp custom shaders patch tab here and as you can see it says our shaders patch version is the 0 0.180 preview 346 that is the one we just downloaded and installed um, over here are the available versions like the mod like the stock versions I guess you could say like the recommended versions but uh, for us because we're using a lot of mods cars weather is this and that we got to have the custom one so we have that installed there so that's good now we have that installed and everything's fine and yeah guys and for the next few videos I will be making videos on reds uh, red gaming servers I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, pretty much how to install all the cars that he has made and he has tuned 
um, all the maps that he has available for free literally every single server he has is free you do not have to pay for anything um, which is the best server or that you guys can ask for pretty much because I know a lot of servers you got to pay for a lot of the things that you got to do like to play or even to do anything you know what I mean but this server has a lot of things a lot of cards that he has uh, tuned himself and they are really nice and in the next few videos I will show you guys how to install the maps that he has this is the servers that he has right now currently people play on it I play on it myself for my videos that I create we play together and pretty much this is the server you guys want to be in because it is free um, and there's a lot of people now in here there's 50,000 people members uh, in the discord only um, so there's a lot of people coming in and I will be showing you guys how to install the SRP Shotoko uh, Revival Project, the Horizon Vision, High Force, and Union Island Maps. I will show you guys how to install the cars from YouTube that he uh, Red Gaming makes. I will show you guys how to install the car packs that he has. I will show you guys how to install the traffic packs and the updates and just all that in general. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I I I. I, like I hope you guys got something from this video and uh, learned a lot from this and I uh, hope you guys see you guys in the next one and that's pretty much it alrighty peace out